What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guy. We've got a pretty good lesson today. We're going to be looking at how to multiply two fractions. So let's start. So first things first, if we have a look at our steps, we can see at the top, pretty simple today. Would you believe me if I told you that this is actually easier than adding fractions? Multiplying fractions is actually really easy. And that's easy because we don't need to find common denominators. Remember, our denominator is the number at the bottom and our numerator is the number at the top. So if you saw my video on adding fractions, you know that we have to find common denominators. We need to make sure the denominators are the same value. But here, in multiplying, we do not, which is great. Okay, so looking at my steps then, you can see step one says to multiply the numerator, then I'll multiply the denominator, and then we're gonna simplify if possible. Okay, so let's have a look at the first question then. Let's have a look at this first green chili challenge, nothing too complicated. We've got one, quarter multiplied by another quarter. So first things first, let's multiply our numerators. So one multiplied by one, we know is gonna equal one. Okay, and then step two, multiply the denominators. My denominators are both four, so four multiplied by four is 16. And now step three says simplify if possible. Well, I know I can't simplify because I have a one and 16, so the only common factor of these two numbers would be one, so therefore it's in its simplest form. So one quarter multiplied by another quarter is one sixteenth. Super simple, right? Okay, let's have a look at another easy one. Let's have a look at two fifths multiplied by three quarters. So first things first, let's multiply our numerators, our top numbers. So I've got two times three, and two times three is six. Then I'm just gonna multiply my denominators. Five times four is 20. But now I can see something interesting. I can see that I can definitely find a factor of two into both of these numbers because they're both even. And I can see that dividing by two on both of these would leave me with three tenths. And now that's our simplest form because we have no common factors for both three and 10. So my final answer is three tenths. Okay, let's step things up a little bit. Let's have a look at a slightly harder one. Let's have a look at four fifths and three sixths. So same thing again. I'm gonna multiply our four times three. Four times three is 12. And then let's multiply our denominators. Five times six is 30. And the reason this might be a little bit harder is because it might be harder to see that highest common factor, but I know that it's six. So I'm gonna divide these by six, leaving me with two fifths. Now there is another way we could do that. We could do it the longer way. So if I just bring my 12 thirtieths down here, what I could do is I could see that they're both even numbers, so I could divide them by two, which would leave me with six fifteenths. And then I can see that we also have a common factor of three. So I could again divide by three, leaving me with two fifths. So the same answer, just a slightly different way of getting there depending on whether you can easily see that highest common factor. And if you don't really know how to find a highest common factor, I have got a video on this channel for it, so I'll link it here in the video now. Check that out if you need to. Okay, and now let's have a little look at our last question, our red chili challenge. And what you can see straight away is that we have what's called an improper fraction. And an improper fraction is where we have a greater numerator than we do denominator. If you're not really sure what an improper fraction is, you can check that video out on my channel too. But it doesn't really make any difference in multiplication. So we can just do everything as before, but we must make sure that we understand that we might end up with an improper fraction as a result. And if we end up with an improper fraction, it would be good to convert it. Okay, so let's just follow our normal process. We're gonna multiply our four times eight, and four times eight, equals 32. Then I'm gonna multiply my denominators, eight times seven, and eight times seven is 56. Okay, now again, I can see that my highest common factor is actually eight here. So I could just straight away divide it by eight. So 32 divided by eight is four, and 56 divided by eight is seven, leaving me with an answer of four sevenths. Or I could do it the long way again. So I'll rewrite my 32. 56 down here, and I can see straight away there are even numbers, so I can divide by two, both of these, leaving with 16 28 Now they're even again, so I could divide by two again, leaving me with eight 14 They're even again, 
So I could divide them again by two, leaving with four sevenths. Four sevenths has no common factor, so therefore is our simplified form. So there we go, that is multiplying two fractions. Let's have a look at things to remember. You do not need to make common denominators for multiplication. First multiply the numerators, and then finally multiply the denominators. So here you go, here are four questions for you to have a go at. Take your time, work them out, and put your answers in the comment section below. I'm gonna mark them all. And there we have it. Hopefully this video is useful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel because we make daily maths videos. Like this video, and I'm gonna see you another time. Peace out.